So the internet went out. I don't know why, but it did. That's okay. Been doing good lately, so I hope it doesn't happen again tonight. That would be fucking stupid. We'll see. Wait, where is Sid at? I don't, I don't remember. So I guess we're going up here, I don't know. Sid's scene from the original game. I'm actually excited to go through the original again. I'm always excited to go through the original again. I do it every year, multiple times every year. Lately, the numbers have been decreasing because I'm trying to play other games and stuff. But it's always at least like once or twice a year, usually more than that though. I've been through it so many times in my life. But I haven't done it yet in 2024 and I'm excited to do it. To play it again. Especially after playing this and we make over again. Also, I'm excited to go back and do Remake again on hard mode. I've only been through it on hard mode once, whereas I've been through it on normal place now. And I haven't done UP's DLC on hard mode at all, so I'm excited for that also. <coughs> I'm gonna 100% it all over again. We are now in Uncharted territory. <laughs> Speaking of Uncharted, I wouldn't mind replaying those games. Maybe. I don't know. The last time I do it, I could hardly get through them all because I've played those quite a bit in my life. Um, by the time I got to the fourth one, I was Uncharted out, so I don't think I'd want to do them all in a row, but... Like I tried to do a few years ago, a couple years ago, 2022 I think, on stream. It'd be cool to replay them though. Actually it might have been 2021. A lot of stuff I want to play for the first time and a lot of stuff I want to replay. So basically just a lot of stuff I want to play. Get to everything. This temple of yours is not, in fact, 
So we're not even gonna get the Palmer getting hit by the truck thing. Is that why we got that battle earlier with him? The beginning of the end. The celebration of the faith. A watershed moment for all mankind. But the temple itself. Merely the stage. Objective sighted. Wish you would have told me that earlier, Hojo. Northwood, Keystone Altar. Oh, shoot! Oh my goodness, sure Reno is, is in the game. Holy shit. What? Interesting. Maybe he was in it, like at the very beginning or something, and I just forget. But I don't remember seeing him yet in this game. I do kind of want to see if there's anything else around here, but I seriously doubt it. I don't know, maybe. Go. Temple of the Ancients. I assume they're gonna force us to use it since this will be the last time ever we'll get to use her, at least. I don't know how New Game Plus is gonna work, but I assume even though it's gonna not be canon. I don't know. Let's see. I wonder if we're gonna be able to use UP and taste it right from the get go on New Game Plus. I hope so, but as long as we got Barrett, I'm happy. You'll not be able to return after landing. Well. As if I didn't have the app. <laughs> Let's see. I like to be extra careful. Also, I like how overleveled we are, only because I did that one level 70 battle so with Chad Leaf. So gave me like five level ups. Did a number on the old gal. I'm gonna give her a once over. I'm still surprised we beat all ten, ten of them in a row. I'm a big boy. Can I return? I'll catch up. Just gotta tend to her first. Being outside is exhausting. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Giga Potion. Can finally buy them. Might as well. I have so much money and have nothing to do with it. Not to spend it on. Time subversion. Warding. I don't know if we're gonna need any more of these, but I'll take a couple more just in case. Nothing to spend my money on. And they do have better defense or magic defense than some of the stuff I have on right now. I just prefer stuff with more materia slots. But that's starting to become a thing that I don't care about because we just don't have that much much we don't have that much stuff that we need mastering anymore. So I think soon enough I'll be taking off some of that equipment and putting on stuff with better defense but less materia slots. Pretty soon, maybe. Especially once I get Kate to the bag. That'll be helpful. Dude, I haven't been on a chocobo in a while now. Feel like it anyways. Alright. Temple of the Ancients. Booba wood. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. Her booty we smack. By her the planet's booty. Yeah, you stupid idiot guy, person thing. You thought this was the promised land? Oh, Barrett, you silly man, you. <laughs> so special about this place, huh? There's green, glowy stuff. We good? You think that's special, yeah. huh? We get case hit back soon. Not because I care about using him that much, but he's another person to have multiple materia slots on to get leveled up. I can take some of the stuff I have on other people and put it on him. So then I can put re-raise on Cloud and re-raise on 
not cloud also since we have two of them other people probably Yuffie Welcome, friends. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Alright. I don't want to leave any stone unturned here. So, we're going to take off. I don't know, something. Uh, fuck it. And we're going to put on assess. And we're going to assess everyone here that we've never fought before. I don't think it really matters at this point, but just in case. Asses. You can have here. You can put dark side on. Comet, healing, elemental HP, absorber HP up, time, gravity, MP up, MP up, warding, ATB. Petrify time. Time again? What the fuck? It's time to take off time. Materia. Boo. I'll put gill up on. Because we don't have enough gill, obviously. We need so much more. You know, I don't even know if it's going to work since it's on Aerith. I assume it will. It's Avalanche! Deal with that. Oh, damn. Ah. Oh. 
All right, well, we can go up the middle, which is, it looks like where we're supposed to go, but I have to say, I'll check out the sides. I did the way, I did there. Twitch! Shimple. Oh my god, I said shimple. Pretty shitty temple. <laughs> shimple. Pretty shitty temple of the ancients. Doesn't even have a complete bridge. You bastards. A shitty temple is a shimple. Shumpert. All right, I'm gonna guess Turbo Ether or Elixir or Giga Potion. Dry Ether. <laughs> There's so many Ethers and potions in this game. I like it. Potion, High Potion, Mega Potion, Giga Potion, X Potion, Mix Potion, Mixed High Potion, Mist Potion, Mist High Potion, Mist Mega Potion, Mist Giga Potion, Mist Fucker Potion, Ether, High Dry Ether, Dry Ether, High Dry Ether, Turbo Ether, Elixir, but no Mega Elixir. Fuck you. Well, at least I haven't gotten one, and I've done everything in the game, and we're 140 hours in. I don't think Mega Elixirs are in this game. It would break the game! No, it wouldn't. Yes. Doesn't even matter, really. Unfortunately, none of that matters, because you can't... I don't think you can use items on hard mode. Unless it's... Maybe it's not like that in this one. It was like that in Remake Part 1, though. So I just assume it'll be like that in this one, but we'll see. Fiends killed these men. This is one hell of a mess. Yeah, but they didn't have Aerith. We get a free pass, right? Now her with the headaches. Aerith is Cloud now. Is that true, right? Cloud had like a million headaches from the start of Remake Part 1 till now. It's a fraud. Now, I know I came with you all this far, but I ain't about to go in there. Sorry, folks. I haven't been programmed to fight in this game. Wait till next game. Then I'll fight with you. Well, see you in a few years. 2027, the game should be released, hopefully. Vincent, you're gonna fight in this game? No? 2027 for you as well, huh? Alrighty. Maybe you'll get some DLC for Rebirth. You got her DLC for Remake. Bah, I'm dead. Hold button to open door. Good job, you good at video game. The ancient has entered the temple, and he is doubtless close behind. This is going to be interesting. Oh, yes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so... I wonder if, dad. well, dad, uh, he's dead. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to have red, the red dragon. It's going to be a boss fight probably in this place, or at least an enemy you can fight. The great, uh, what's the enemy called? The, the annoying ass boss fight who's basically like, he's a tough, tough boss fight. Probably the first pretty tough one in Final Fantasy VII, especially for, like, first-time players. Uh, the wall, I can't fucking remember what it's called, though. Cloud, 
the wall boss. I wonder how he's going to be in this game. And I'm sure there's going to be more than that here. There's probably going to be extra stuff added. Fuck, what the hell's the name of that boss? Now it's bothering me. Demon Gate. That's it. Demon Demon Gate boss. From the original. But that's not until like we're leaving this place. And it will probably be the same for the re rebirth here. When we're on our way out. You know what's kinda of funny? Is that in Remake, we saw Sephiroth more often than in Rebirth, I think. Which is funny, because the original game, you don't see him at all in Midgar. It's not until after you leave Midgar, and Remake took place only in Midgar. Although we did have an entire first chapter with Sephiroth in it, so... I don't know. They were talking about... Maybe just thing, Maybe just like... Maybe it just feels that way, because this game's a lot longer. But maybe we actually see him just as much. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't think so, though. Feels like we haven't seen him quite as much. Not counting chapter one. I kind of wish they hadn't shown them at all in Remake Part 1. Imagine how much, how much the suspense would have been built up for them. If we had to wait an entire game just to see them. Instead they throw them in your face. Every chapter. Right now, I don't really care. Oh, boy. Whoa. Look at it. The ancients built all this just to hide something? That black materia's gotta be worth a fortune. Shh. Oh, not another word about the black materia. We can't let Shinra find out. Like Kate hasn't already told them. Doesn't matter if they know or not. We just need to find it first. Huh? Hold up! What the hell? I could be wrong, but I'm starting to think we checked our sanity at the door. Uh... Yeah. I'm sure this is going to be really fun and not confusing and annoying at all. Well, I hope so. The only promised thing here is death for us all. Elena, True. the chatter. Hey, you know I'm right. <sighs> Sir, Avalanche and the Ancient, they're here. I say we set an ambush and take them out. No. We focus on the mission. Our orders were to find proof that this is indeed the promised land. So we will split up in search. Reno, Rude, pair off. Elena, you're with me. Sir. Reno. Hmm? See you keep your priorities straight. Copy that, boss. Shinra and the Black Robes complicating things. 
good yeah. tough going folks. You think Sephiroth's here too? No. I know he is. I'm not a bad feeling about all this. You shouldn't think like that. Stay positive, okay? This place can sense our emotions. Turn them against us. Well, that's a weird treasure that we haven't seen. Giga potions, I like. Oh god, there they are. I like the sound these things make when we break them and they're on the floor. Doors are sweet. The way they open and close. I like it. So we gotta shift gravity so we can get... Uh, okay. Yep. I'm sure it's not gonna get confusing at all. That flip turn upside down. Or the temple did. Depends how you look at it. The fresh ancient of Bel Air. The fresh the fresh Setra of Bel Air. The, the fresh soldier of Mid Gear. Mid Gar. This is cool though, I like it, but I just hope it doesn't get annoying at some point. It's the only thing I'm worried about. I'm also thinking of the UP date and wishing that I had gotten that. Especially if we would have gotten the other things anyways, then I'm really going to be regretting not looking it up. Because I just didn't look anything up when doing this, the trophy guide or anything. And... I'm glad because it seems like we got it all done on our own except for the UV date. I imagine. Hey, let me look it up right now and see if it talk, t talks about having to do another playthrough for either the UV or Tifa date. Um, 
I feel like Yuffie would be in it no matter what, so I think I might have fucked up. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Trophy Guide. Let's see. Playthroughs 2. Main story with side quests and intel objectives is part one. First playthrough cleanup. First playthrough cleanup, secret boss trials, and brutal combat simulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard mode. Um, which trophy would they talk about the date and probably the Johnny's thing? trying to look it up. It's, there's not actually a trophy tied to it specifically, so... <sighs> you can also find a ma experience up materia near the start of chapter 13. So it's got to be inside here somewhere. Temple of the Ancients. Good to know. I don't think we really need that, though, because we're already level 54 out of 70. But, sure. Let's see. G bike, yeah, yeah, yeah. Galactic Survivors. One second. Maybe I did need to... I th I forgot about something, the sit-ups. We did that, but I wonder if there was a new hard mode for it. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, 41... Surely the guide would mention something about going on a date with Yuffie if he... I don't see anything. Plus, I mean, I know we have to do it though, but it didn't mention anything about it. Whatever. This is my first time working out the trophy guide. Oh, right. Watch the third. Oh, no, 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 no,
petrify and prayer. Petrify. Let's put on. Hmm, I don't know. Gambler. I'm not gonna use that anyways. So we'll put that on red and put. We'll finally be able to put on. Well, actually, I'm gonna put Gil up on. Fuck it. For now, we can always put. What's it called? Cleansing would be nice to have on someone, but re-raise is what I was really wanting. That's so good. It's really good. Anyways, for now though, gill up, because it's not like we're going to need re-raise for these regular fights. Anyways, so whatever. I hope we get a second ribbon. That would just make things a lot easier. One ribbon is good, two ribbons is better. Ribbon, 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 ribbit. Ribbon to protect against ribbit. Pictures of the ancients. They don't look very ancient to me. They look stupid as fuck! Legend says no one can reduce the temple ever comes out, according to the cat. Why am I the cat. hearing this? I wonder what their plan with Kate Sith is. Like, we're obviously gonna get him back, but when, when, when? I don't know when. Ooh, a new weapon. Who do we think it's for? I think it's gonna be for probably Cloud. Um. Aerith would be my next guess, but she just got one recently. Or wait, did she? No, she didn't. Okay, my guess is Aerith. Never mind, Yuffie got a weapon recently, that's right. So I think Aerith. I mean, it is Temple of the Ancients. If not, then Cloud. It's gonna be Aerith, though. It's Cloud. <laughs> Should've stuck with my gut. What do we got here? Slipstream Saber. Well... It's got all connecting and higher magic, but the attack and HP is lower. It's also got counter stance, which we obviously need to learn. What else do we have? Stagger recovery. Formidable counter. MP recovery rate up. Yeah, I mean, this weapon's gonna be good for New Game Plus, because MP, we need all the MP we can get. What did the other one have? HP, magic, menu. Hmm. I like the look of it. Well, I mean, we could just do that. What are we going to get four slots, I wonder, if that's even going to be a thing? Four slots down here. I bet when we max it out, it probably will give us four. We'll be able to put four on whatever weapons we have. That'd be cool.
Alrighty. Giving me Super Mario World vibes right now. Yellow, green, green, purple, purple, purple. Star Chamber. See you. So we can only set it to whatever it shows. Not like we could set it anywhere. That makes sense. Okay, so now we just flipped up, flipped the whole thing upside down, Fresh print style. So we were up there. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. So we need to look around again. Real quick. There is indeed a treasure. So wait, can we see that other treasure from up, up here? The one I picked up already? Where was that at? Whatever. Uh, what do we think this is? Turbo Ether. Hi, Ether! So close. I like, I like trying to guess what treasure. What it's gonna be. <laughs> because I have no life. You! Yeah. <laughs> Get wrecked! Dude, prayer is so good. When it's maxed out, it's just a large heal on there. It's like using a Giga Potion. Almost, but you're not. So it's gonna be really helpful for... Or like a missed Giga Potion, sorry. Which, you might say, why not just use one of those then? Well, first of all, because I don't have that many. Second of all, you can't on hard mode, so it, it, prayers are really going to come in handy for hard mode. It's really good. You need to use two ATV charges, but whatever. Seven hundred thirty six kill. <laughs> we do have kill up on Yuffie, right? Yeah. Cool. I know there's not really anything to buy anymore, but there might be on New Game Plus. But besides that, there's also a materia that might come in handy for New Game Plus. In the original, it was, I think it was just called throw. It was throw, and you could throw gill, plus items, equipment, and stuff. This one is just spare change. It's just for throwing gill. The more gill you throw, the more damage you will deal. I could see that coming in handy for some boss battles in the on hard. Just chuck fucking shit ton of gill and do a lot of damage. Especially if you put the break damage limit thing on. I wonder. I wonder if we could one shot some bosses with that. It could be really broken. Like if we just uh, we get the Genji stuff, get the break break damage limit, and then throw like everything we had or whatever, throw a lot. I'll have to try it out when I get it. 
obviously, that would be like a. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyways, obviously that wouldn't be something I could do very often, especially like if it really costs a lot. Like if you had to throw a hundred thousand or something to really put a large dent in, that would be like a last resort thing. But I like the option though, in case we get stuck on something, some boss in hard mode. Pain in the ass, boss. Uh, I guess let's go up here first. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. We gotta get learn that ability. So let me use haste. So five can get his V back up. Or his uh, what's it called? ATV in that counter stance. Brace for attacks and retaliate. Activate at the right time to reduce damage. Well, right now I just care about learning it, so... Probably would have guessed Turbo Ether again, though. Alright, I'm gonna guess the next treasure right now. The next non weapon treasure is gonna be. Elixir, obviously. Hear the Temple of the Ancient Song from the original in this song. Moon Stone. Yeah, I'm actually excited. I'm always excited to replay FF7 original, but after playing this and remake over again. I'm pretty fucking excited to do it. I usually play it a couple times every year. And I haven't done it yet this year, so that's going to be fun. Soon. And I can get through it quickly, since I've beaten it a million times in my life. If I really wanted to, I could do it in one day. But as long as I started in the morning and streamed all day, it wouldn't be that hard to do that. That's not going to happen, though. All right, now we have three options, or two, I guess. You can either turn it here, or, nah, I'm so confused now, where we're, whatever, I turned it to its side, so let's check out the side, I guess. I don't want to miss anything, though, so, let's check out this way, just real quick. I don't know which way the right way is, unfortunately. This thing controls weird. Okay, so this one is... Ah, see? I'm glad we looked, because that's probably all this is, is a treasure. Whistlewind Scarf. Really? Didn't expect that. Oh, I have three of them. I thought I only had one. Um, well, two after getting that one. Slightly fills the ATV guys at the start of battle. I don't like it more than Ribbon, so no. Is that all that's on? Oh! Okay. Well, 
wasn't an elixir like I thought it was gonna be. All right, now let's flip it on on its other side. Yes, I am. If I was in that situation, that would be. I don't like the world flipping on the side and upside down. Not something I really want to happen. feels like, well I would say it feels like we're going to have our first boss fight coming up, but nah, there's no bench. So I doubt it, there's going to be a bench, beforehand most likely. It just kind of looked like this next room. It is a fight though. I really hope that's not Cloud's final weapon. Maybe they all have New Game Plus weapons, actually. That'd be cool. The hell are we doing with this thing? Here's uh Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. I do understand what is happening right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that where we're pushing it? Maybe we're not pushing it anywhere in particular, but we're trying to get the ball 
like turned in the right spot or something. I don't know, it's not immediately obvious to me where we're putting it. There is a square right there. I thought I'd lined it up with the square, but maybe I didn't. There's something I'm not seeing. What the hell are we doing with this thing? I mean, the only thing that makes sense to me is putting it on this thing, but nothing happens, though, so I don't know. That side has more of an opening. Maybe there's something we gotta grab from in there that can only be grabbed if it's, you know, if it's like facing this open side or something. I feel like I'm going to think of this. But I don't know about that though, because I tried putting it on this obvious square over there and nothing happened. I tried moving it around, nothing happened. So now I don't know what to do. It, this thing. Am 
I crazy or something? Is it like obvious and I'm just not seeing it? Jump on it. I was thinking maybe we had to go flip the world again or something, but but it doesn't even look like we did anything with it. Like we moved it from over there to over there. What what would that even do? This is weird. I don't, I don't know what the game wants from me. I really don't. Oh, maybe, maybe it's supposed to fit only one of these squares. Like there's, I'm trying to fit it in that middle one, but that's not working. So maybe I have to line it up with another one. Ugh. That seems a little... I don't know, dude. There's just nothing to do with it, and it's that that's not that can't be the case, though. Let me try flipping the world, maybe, maybe it'll put the, the square somewhere else. Now that I'm thinking about it, it does make sense. That, that does kind of make sense. I don't know where else it would go, but that's got to be it, right? What else can it fucking be? And maybe it's just saying, put the square there and then fuck off back to where he came from. Holden. 
So if we flipped it, there's the waterfall thing, so... Uh... Where would the box be? I have no clue. Let me just go look around. We'll have better luck finding it, I feel like. If we can... If that's even the solution, I don't even know. But if it is, we'll have better luck finding it faster. From me just wandering around looking for it, probably, than actually trying to think about where it landed. Oh, there's another box thing right there. So I feel like that's definitely what we're doing. We're like moving it from something to something by by flipping the world back or something. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. That makes sense to me. Though. It makes sense that they would introduce this little mechanic of flipping the world upside down and then include like a puzzle or whatever with it. Or you have to, you know, I use the word puzzle loosely, but, but yeah. Your warding material improved. Nice. Boarding improved, hell yeah. And you know what? We might have to maybe flip it another way uh, again with this one before you can get to where it, what, where it's at. Or whatever. For all I know, anyways. So I guess we should try that. But if I'm wrong, we're just wasting our fucking time. And that's lame. Super lame. You know, with all the ways, like games can like baby you through stuff and like over explain but they don't say anything about this and it's not super obvious or obvious at all really well I thought it was but then when I placed it in the thing it didn't do anything and it seems like this is also not correct because uh, I don't know unless they really want you to back travel this far seen it. I don't know if that was right. Oh god, there's another one? Is this the this was the first one I did. Oh shit. Uh, I think I'm wasting my time here, but we might as well go back a little more just to make sure already this far but now I'm really starting to think that was not right Give them hell! Yeah. 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 
Okay, so uh, you should probably head back here in a second. Wait, now it shows where I'm supposed to go. Dude, fucking pain in the ass. Well, I still don't know what we're supposed to do with it. And now we also have to head all the way back to it just to try to figure it out again. Oh well. It's not a total loss, I guess. There's items we picked up and enemies we fought. Pretty much a total loss, though. Never mind. I would say it's not a total loss. I missed this before. Ow. <laughs> Never mind, it's a total loss. I mean, at least it's mastered already. That's cool. But we have others and that are already mastered. And we can buy those. Still, I'm glad we got that, so cool. Blessing in disguise that we couldn't figure it out. I hope I don't miss the experience up material that it apparently is going to be here somewhere. the fuck do I do with this block? I don't fucking know, but I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out once I get back to it. I mean, you would think you could just climb on top of it for something, but I don't think there's anything above me, and it doesn't seem like we can climb on top of it. Unless, maybe you have to, maybe it has to be from a specific angle or something, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe I can't climb on top of it from the side I was trying to. I don't fucking know, man. i try, try messing with it again. Because what else am I going to do?
<laughs> going to the left. Going to the left. Going to the left. Going to the up. Going to the up. Going to the up. Going to the right. Going up. Going up. Going right. Oh my god, can you use it to climb up those, maybe? The vines or whatever? I didn't even notice those before, I bet that's what it is. I was like looking up and just didn't see anything above me over here, but... I, that's gotta be what it is. But you can't, hold on. You can't fucking climb up this thing. But maybe, maybe it'll let you when you pull it over here or something. I don't know. Let's fucking try it. That's gonna be it, isn't it? Oh God! Fuck you. It is, oh my god, really? Okay, whatever. I'm an idiot then, fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I mean, I saw the square on the ground and I was like, oh, square that we can pull, square on the ground. Seems pretty obvious to me what we gotta do. I guess I'm the idiot here, okay, that's fine. Dude, you are not getting paid enough to be jumping down waterfalls and little temple of the ancients. So. No, there is a way. You can go back. You could go back. Giga potion. jump on the box. You know, if it would have let you jump on the box, I would have known immediately, okay, we gotta get up somewhere. I, uh, I, I thought the exact opposite, though. Like, okay, well, you can't jump on it, so can't go up anywhere, then. Whatever. Elixir. Chunk of mithril ore. Really? Why though? Alright, let me look up where that experience up here is. I really don't want to miss that. And I, I just saw a little bit ago that there is one in here somewhere. Experience up. Materia. FF7 Rebirth. And because I missed that other one. After reaching the Amber Star Chamber. Have we reached the Amber Star Chamber? I don't think we have. You'll need to shift the gravity then follow the path upward to get the Materia. Alright. 
whatever. Sounds easy enough, and I probably wouldn't have missed it, but... Does the experience up material work on all party members at the same time? Or does it only increase the mem on the member equipment material? Only the one with it equipped, and to be honest, it really isn't that useful. You get it so late in the game that you're probably in, like, the 50s or so by now, and with a level cap of 70 and about to unlock chapter select on hard model experience, starts partying in anyway, you get all maxed in anyways. Okay. It does work with everybody, they're saying. Plus, it worked with everybody in the original, I think, too. So, I think whoever said that was wrong. But, it sounds like experience is a non-issue. I don't think experience is an issue at all, so... I would still like to get it, though. two of them here now just choose between so let me save it and pick one amber star okay well I'll just take them from first good only one other path to go to I was thinking that they would both have like two different paths to choose from on top of being two of them in general but nay nay or enter I wonder if we get any more magnified material. I hope so. Two already seems like a good amount, but I don't know, man. I hope we get more. Ooh, you know what I just thought of? Holy shit, you know what I just thought of? We could use magnify with... I wonder if we could use magnify with re-rays. Holy shit. I didn't even think of that before. If that if we can, I absolutely need to put it on immediately. It's gonna be better than haste on everyone, that's for sure. Having a re-raise on everybody. Uh I bet we can't. We can't. Damn. They knew that'd be too broken. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's worth a shot. They definitely knew that would be too broken. Alright, well. I still don't know if I should have time or maybe 
heal for magnify. I feel like time because we have prayer to heal everyone with. And until we go to hard mode, we also have items. But I don't know, man. For now, time is fine. I definitely want to keep barrier, though. Man, a wall on everyone is really good. Damn, man, that would have been good. Uh, did I pick up the thing? I guess so. Increases the amount of experience you earn in battle. Why not? I'll put that on. And when I free up another spot, I'll put Gil on. For now, though. And we'll see if it actually works on everybody or not. Yuffie's level 53. 28,000. Barrett's got 30,200. So he's got like 3,000. Or what? 28,000 to 2,250 to 2,275 more, give or take. After a few battles, we'll see if it's still in, if he's still up by that much or not. It probably works on everybody, would be my guess. If not, then I guess we'll switch it between the three of them from time to time. But I think it probably works on everybody, I'd guess. Should I go up or down? I'll tell you where. Bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
came back. So, doesn't matter, let's shoot up. Okay, it looks like this is probably the way to go. Regardless, let's check out the other one real quick, see what, what's at the start of that. Might be another treasure or something. this. I don't know where this is leading us, but whatever. Check it out. feeling there's nothing over here. Oh! Huh. Interesting. I don't know. Well, maybe. I don't know. I guess they both lead to the same whatever, so... Um... Another path to go. Oh, man. I don't know which way is the right way, dude. Alright, I need to stop doing that. Now I gotta override save instead of saving down there. Okay, I'm gonna say the other way is the right way. Okay, it seems like it's super worth it, Cetrin Bangle. Oh, never mind. I have no material slots. And all stats go down? Oh no, that's just because... Yeah, okay. That's just because of what we're losing from the... Yeah. So it raises defense by a lot. Supreme physical defense. Yeah. You say so. Still, definitely worth it. But, I mean, look at this. Which one would you rather have on? The one that raises defense plus 23, but it lowers all that other stuff? Nah. I think I want to keep this one on. What's down here? Gotcha. So now we can go the other way. Alright, cool. Couldn't it have had like two slots and been like double the AP on top of the, everything? That would have been cool. It's the end of the game, man. Give me some good shit that I'll actually use.
hold this position until the Turks send word. We're gonna have to fight all these guys. Yeah. A bunch of weaklings. Sounds great to me. Watch this. Oh, that's so satisfying, dude. Look at all those dead. How much experience and shit was that, I wonder? I think it was so much that it's not even showing it up on the screen now. Which is crazy. But cool. So she, he got 1,700, and she got about 1,700. So it works on everybody. That person was wrong. The one that said it only goes into one. Here, let's write it down. I don't even need to, but let's do it. Barrett has... Well, Yuffie's about to get a level up, so... Still. Fine, we'll do Cloud. Well, no, because Yuffie's the one with it on. <sighs> Shit. Whatever. We don't need to write it down. Either way, we'll, we'll know in a little while anyways, because if Yuffie starts surpassing everyone. Right now, she's lower than Barrett and Cloud. If she gets closer to a level up than they do at any point, then... Well, no, it doesn't work that way. Uh-oh, you might have our first boss fight. In the tenth of the ancient. <laughs> Two giga potions. Don't mind if I do. I can't believe a five only sells for three thousand when next. You'd think at least five. 
binding is something you can master a few times and sell. Hell, I might sell one of them anyways. Do we really need three bindings? <laughs> Probably not. Time is the obvious other one. These are all actually not bad candidates, I feel like. Well, actually, no, because they might cost 2000 They just don't require very much to max out. That's all I was thinking of. If this costs 4,000 at level 3, I wonder, it's probably going to be 10 that maxed out. Anyways, it's interesting to look at that, but we don't really need gill, so... I'm not worried about it. It's interesting to get an idea of what the game thinks most valuable stuff is. Circlet, for accessories, is definitely one of the more valuable ones. I don't know about the ribbon or anything that I actually have on right now. You know what I've never used is the adrenaline. I never used it before. I should use it. And the other one too. So I think it's Fury and Sadness, basically, from the original game, but I've never used it in this one, so I don't know. Mm. That's a lot. Just to make an explosion. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Something I might actually use. I should have checked to see if there was hard mode versions of those bosses. I didn't do that. I just assumed there wouldn't be. And maybe there is in the in the battle arena thing. But I don't know. Fuck, man. I should have checked. Whatever. We have chapter select at the end of the game, so... If, I really, if that really is the case, we'll just do that. Or maybe we'll be able to go back out to the old map again at some point before moving on. But after this, though, obviously, before moving on to the final place of the game, which I assume is going to be where the Earth dies. Oh, 
Red Dragon? Is it Red Dragon? Is it Red Dragon? Is it Red Dragon? It looks like a dragon. It looks red, but is the name actually going to be Red Dragon? Also, where's Kate sit? What the fuck? They really just didn't give a shit about him. I mean, I feel like he's going to be here at some point really soon, but... Oh, punch that dragon. It is Red Dragon. Nice. Allow me. <laughs> Beat the ice, you don't say. Striking the scorch fillers and bringing them down to the air fresh air, destroying one of its wings while it's flying, cause it to plummet, pressuring it, attacking its chest will boost the range of crimson breath. Don't overdo it. Oh, come on. Hey, how about bringing down that melon? Uh. Sure. How about aiming at the fucking pillar? You're the one who just said it. Wow. That pillar didn't have that much health. How come I can't aim at the pillar? What the fuck? Fucking annoying. Jesus. Really? Whatever. Wait, why did it seem like it, he just absorbed wind? I saw green. Whatever, man. Like, maybe I didn't see green. I don't know. Lifesaver on Barret. He's got a lot of health now, but he's also going to soak up a lot of damage, so I hope we're. We'll be fine. Sometimes I hate wizards. My turn. 
I know he's fire, but I'm still gonna summon Phoenix. <laughs> it doesn't look like he absorbs it anyways. He just uh, is immune to it. So. And I'm also in Phoenix for the other one. And I don't even need it for that, really, but just in case. Three days on Vera would be nice since he's got that thing on. After the fighting the summons together and Gilgamesh, this guy really was nothing. I imagine he'd probably be pretty tough if, you know, you're speed running it or whatever and you're skipping stuff, optional stuff and whatever. And you're under leveled, probably be pretty tough. <clears throat> or if you're just playing it on hard mode. It would also probably be pretty tough. Uh, the bench. Should go back to the bench, I guess, real quick. Get his knees MP back up.
I want the fire ice lightning the wind strengthened. And five more SP though. Five more Stat boost increases attack by 14, increases magic attack by 17. Add an additional weapon skill slot. a materia slot with one more. What is that? Am I crazy or something? What am I not... Seeing that, am I reading that right? would like to get that lowered uh this well the time i mean but raise the ap up obviously Okay, Sith, it's time for you to shine, buddy. So yeah, the experience definitely goes to everyone, it looks like. <laughs> I already said that, but looking at it after every fight. When are you coming in here, Kate Sith? Come on, we need you back, buddy. I'm surprised they made him go away for so long. Kinda sucks because I don't know, it just kinda sucks. Wait, what in the what? Look.
Wow, they really didn't seem to care. Yeah. Rude and Reno just ran right off immediately after that happened. I think the live streams show a little bit of remorse there, man. At least that's how if you want us to like them at all. Like at least they could have shown their faces go, Oh no. Like that kind of face, and then they run off. Oh well. I, mean, I know they're bad guys, but they're not they're not hundred percent evil. They're not like Sephiroth or Hojo. Levels of evil, they're just <coughs> your guys doing a job for the wrong team. Okay, Yuna. Send them to the far plane. <laughs> I miss Final Fantasy X. I'm absolutely going to play that soon. 100%. Maybe right after 7. our priority. We have to get to it first. Let's move. Cloud! They're with Aerith. They'll be fine. Oh, me, guish. Oi, mate. Dranky hack, mate. Might. Might you be interested in 
in a potion or two. A couple mega potions, sure. Slight HP restoration. Moderate HP restoration. Oh, modest. HP red restoration. Great. HP restoration. Significant HP restoration. Cool. Dun 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 how many phones do we get? Oh god, Berserker Vs! You fight them on the world map, actually, outside of the fucking Temple of the Ancients. False game, literally garbage. Just kidding. Wait, Tifa? No, wait, what? We have to use Tifa? But I don't, I don't want to. I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't looking at the last bit of the cutscene. But I did hear Cloud say that they'll be fine though with Aerith, so maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe there's something happened to him. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Shit, that's what happened, isn't it? Yeah. I was looking at my phone for like the last minute of the cutscene and just listening. Alright. It didn't hit me until now, I didn't realize it. Um. We should probably switch then. I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but I imagine for a little while, so... Tifa and Yuffie. Should I have between those two? Which materia am I not giving her? It's got to be one of them. Or I could just give her the piece of equipment she has. Dude, why isn't there a way to do all? Like, swap all the materia from... Like, why does it have to be one... 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 Fucking stupid. You know what? Fuck that. I'll just leave this shit on you from the bottom row. So just the top row. Such a talisman, such a talisman, champion belt, ch ch champion belt, HP 10%, strength 5%, and what does she have on? Strength by 10%, HP by 500. Yeah, okay. That's not bad at all. Immunity to petrify stone. Oh, that's immunity to toad. Ugh, why does it have materia slots? I'm just kidding. Dude, imagine if part three did have materia slots for accessories. That'd actually be cool, dude. Like, give us more materia to work with. And just let's let's just fucking go berserk with it. Like, not even that much. Like maybe the most uh, an accessory could have is like four or something. Four with two connected each. Or maybe an accessory the most it could have is three and have all three be connected. I imagine the kind of combos you could do with that. <clears throat> the only problem then is then it'd be like why why wasn't there any in the first two games then for accessories but you know whatever like imagine having a ribbon that also has material slots
Did I put experience up on him? I already forgot. Level 53, 14,680, 14,700, we'll say. Barrett would say 3,000. 147, 3. 147, 3. 147, 3. 147, 3. 147, 3. 147, 3. 147, 3. 147, 3. 147, that we had to do a cube. Feels like there should be more. I bet there's gonna be one right up here. Right after I said that. Well, we're definitely gonna start missing Yuffie here. But she had the thing that could hit everyone. I already missed her. I do love Tifa though. She would be my fourth if I could have four out. Just like Barrett would be my fourth if you could have four out in the original. Next time I play, I think I'm gonna I'll, I'll swap out like Barrett for Sid maybe. Yeah, let's do that actually because it'll be just like playing remake. Then we'll have we'll have another party of Cloud Barrett. Yuffie, just like the, uh, just like this. Because I always, I mean, I usually do that, actually, for the first part of the game, but then once we get Sid, I swap out. Barrett and Sid. I still, I should have a save file, actually, where everything's, like, mastered on my PS5. Alright, I assume this is going to be a Tifo weapon, if I had to guess. how to fucking pronounce that, but I was right. Six slots all connected. Not quite as strong yet. There might be something here, though. There's a lot of critical stuff. What is concentration again? Whatever. Okay, see, here's something I'm wondering. This right here increases attack power. Wow, and bridled strength is active. D I already have that. Is this going to increase it even more? That's what I want to know. Maybe I should just do a critical hit damage. Or two critical hit rates and then a critical hit damage. Plus, so they're both plus 10%. Yeah. Got a lot of luck. Alright, what was it? True strike? Yarn gripper? I don't know how to pronounce that. Don't have any fucking clue. Let me look it up. I'm curious. Mjornir. Jarn Graper. <laughs> Pronunciation. All too pronounced. Jarn Griever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Not getting anything.
Whatever. New weapons for the people. I like. I like you. I wasn't fully paying attention, so I just want to see if I missed anything. Sorry. I was kind of only half assed paying attention to my surroundings when I was over here. I was lost in train of thought for a minute. There's nowhere else to go from climbing that thing. It doesn't seem like it. So you can climb up here. No. Alright. Alright, I don't think we missed anything. Let's go. Plus, we just got a weapon, so it's definitely not going to be a weapon. But, you never know. There could be materia or something, so... I don't know. I'd prefer not to miss any of that. Especially if it's a one-time only thing, like experience up. What they're gonna do for the third game are they gonna start you out at level I feel like they're gonna start you out at level 50 and 99 is gonna be the max or they're gonna start you out at like 30 it doesn't matter honestly not really anyways they could have made the first game level 6 to level because you technically start out at level 6 not 7 some people think 7 because you, but you get a level up at the start is what it is um they could have done that with 7 to 50, 6 to 50 <laughs> then 50 to 99 for this game and they could have just made it like another I don't know 255 go the star ocean 2 route and make 255 the highest level Also, it'd be cool if they added break HP limit for the third part. Imagine getting an accessory that breaks HP limit. And then maybe like post game or end game, you get one that does break HP limit plus eight, and then plus, and also has like plus HP 10% or something, because just let's just assume that. Let's assume you start at level 50. 
30. Or level 30 or whatever, and you go on to 99. But you get to, you get to, you get to 9,999 by like level 70 or something. Especially for the big, big boy, big boys like Barrett and Cloud. Whoever else has high HP. I assume Sid and Vincent will have decent. Especially Sid. Well, then, break HP limit would be nice, but for the others that don't have high HP, like Arizon. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> She's not in the third game. Well, like Tifa and. Uh, UV, whatever. Having an HP plus 10% with break HP limit would be useful. Because what's the point of having break HP limit if they're not even going to be above it by a decent amount? Sorry, I'm just like thinking a lot. I always like making up these scenarios in my head of how I would maybe do it if I was making a, making the game or whatever. I feel like I feel like Final Fantasy Seven Remake and Remake and or and Rebirth are too afraid to let you be absurdly overpowered. Like like how you can be in the original. Don't get me wrong, you can get really fucking strong. And I probably suck compared to some people out with the, what they can do and I don't know all the materia combinations, the best ones anyways. I feel like I know good ones though. Some some damn good ones, but But yeah, but still, like, come on. Don't be afraid to give us, like, this should be an accessory that's just like, without a doubt, you want this thing on someone. And I know we got Riven, and that's kind of like that. But fuck the Riven. There should be something better, better than that. Riven, like, super Riven, or something. <laughs> Where it also raises all stats by, like, 10%. Just give, give me something broken as fuck. That's just like so insanely good that there's no way you could not have it on someone. No question. I don't know. I always like stuff like that, but. Again, just talking out loud, thinking about. It's not really a big deal. Gotta pay attention. Yeah, I know, the wind thing's coming. And I kind of just ran out there. Let's see what happens if we run into it. Is he gonna blow us off? Uh oh. Don't rush it. Gotcha.
Don't overdo it. Oh, what's up? Check out this shit right here. I still don't fully understand what causes the summons to come out. I'm pretty sure after you stagger. Oh, yeah, after you stagger someone, I think, is what it is. I didn't realize, I forgot I staggered someone quickly that time. I think that's what it is. Say. What you say, Cloud? You know what that should be? There should be an accessory that greatly increases the chance of restoring MP from boxes and like things that you can break. Greatly increases the chances of it being like MP is restored. That would be something you wouldn't really care about too much, except for hard mode. It would be really coming handy. And it wouldn't be free, it would just greatly increase the odds of like every one out of five pretty much guaranteed to get it or something. A little MP restore. Hell, that could have been the prize from the box thing that we did. Instead we got, I don't remember what it does. Let's find out. Box pressure, that could have been that. Restore a small amount of HP and MP when staggering a foe. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I guess you do want your accessory to be something for in battle, but, you know, still. That's, that's the beauty of the thing that I'm saying, though, is it doesn't help for in battle just out of battle so it could have been swapping it around I don't know maybe not anyways I should learn Tifa's thing I've done that enemy contact orb of gravity orb of gravity orb of gravity orb of gravity arm of piercing grenade arm 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 of piercing grenade Deliver a tremendous blow at cro close range and increase stagger damage bonus. Tremendous, dude! She's so good. Maybe I'll have to switch swap out UV. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe, though. I don't know. It'd have to be either UV or Barret, and I really don't want to get rid of Barret. Not that I love UV. But nah, probably not. in here? Nothing? Cool. Oh. Oh, never mind. That was wrong. Well, then what's over here? Oh, this is the optional path. With a treasure. Ore. 
Am I am I wrong in remembering this, but didn't remake part one have Tifa jump up more often to hit flying enemies? Like it seems like he doesn't do that now, and that kinda of blows. Maybe it's because of that. I'll use it now. Yeah, come to think of it, I don't really use synergy abilities that often. I only use the ones that cost stuff to use. I don't really use the regular ones that often, I probably should. I need the free, so whatever. Strike. Might as well use up the items. Astral Remnant. Cool. What was that for again? the others are. I'm sure we're going to swap to them and have to play. It, it makes sense because, you know, in the original we lose Aerith after this and then she dies shortly after. I don't know how exactly how it's going to play out in this, but I assume probably somewhat similarly. So it would make sense that they have a section where she's the main character that you control and play as and that's, that's what it seems like it's setting up because we, we lost the other three. So Aerith, that's the team Yuffie. While you control Aerith. Our little farewell to Aerith. I'm playing as her. Alright, is there anything else out here? Doesn't look like it. What did I get in that treasure? Giga potions or something?
Okay, these guys suck and they're annoying and I don't like them. Hope that doesn't damage me. Spectacular. Fuck those guys. God. You have triggered. You have triggered my headache. I am more evil now. Damn, he actually did it. I like that. Cause now they're gonna look at him like it's truly evil. I just brutally murdered one of the other guys. You both for Sector 7. Could say the same for you. You know, we, we've fought Rude a million times since then. But I guess just because... Just because we haven't seen Reno in a while, that, that's what Barrett thinks of. I guess it makes sense. Next time on Game Grumps. Why'd you even show up then? Damn it. Hey Cloud, can we talk about how you brutally murdered someone and that you're not a good guy anymore? Several hours prior? What? What the fuck is this? You're gonna tell me this was several hours ago? How do you figure? Oh, you're awake. How did several hours pass by? That was like 20 minutes, bro. Did it work? screwed up and don't beat yourself up first time and all that just gotta keep at it starting right now we'll get through this Aerith together <laughs> yeah yeah you're right can't give up now I want to keep playing, but I really, 
I kind of want to take a shower because I didn't. I showered while well, I showered early in the morning, so it's been. And now it's late at night, so it's been a long time. I guess that's not that long, but it's hot in my room and I sweat. And I sweat slightly and I just don't. I just want to take a shower. I know I'm not really dirty, per se, but that's also because I haven't cut my hair in a while. I haven't got a haircut in a couple months. So my hair gets annoying when it's not, like, fresh, fresh. I suppose I don't have to hop off, but there would be, like, a ten-minute gap of me doing nothing on here if I just took a shower while the stream was still going. <laughs> so I probably should not do that. I've done that before, though. I've gone out to buy it. <laughs> I left the stream on one time. This is like a couple years ago. I went out and bought smokes real quick from the gas station down the road. But it took me like 10, 10 minutes at least to get there and get back real quick. Uh, let's see. I've been on for almost three hours plus the 40 minutes before that the stream went out. So... Three hours and 45 minutes, let's say it's been. I could use a small break. And now would be the time to do it. Uh, I probably should. Earth can stabilize that word tumult told the old sheets terrain by gathering fragments of the life stream floating around the temple and channeling that energy into vessels of light. The more energy you collect, the more blessings heirs will receive and start a combat. <sighs> okay, well I think I'm gonna hop off just for a little bit take a shower and just take a small break but I'll be back on because I ain't sleeping tonight <laughs> yeah I'll be back on in a little bit